kitty. Oh, you have a cat? No, I'm talking to kitty. Grab Hello? it, grab it. There we go. What are we grabbing? Mom. Oh, no! We are not doing this again. We are not doing this again. You are not calling me mom. I am not your mother. I will never be your mother. I did not say a goddamn thing about that. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to this banana boat motherfucker over here. <laughs> Someone's triggered. It's like, it's like Kitty gets mad and then Golden is in the crossfire and I just escape behind a plume of smoke. <laughs> ah, damn it. Oh, the bomb is pink, Golden. You said it was green. You know what else is green? These nuts. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Got it. You know what? If your nuts are green, you might want to get that checked out. Ah! What are we ah, doing, ah, my ah. fellow dudes and dudettes and that does, that does not feel comfortable. Jesus. Derek. Golden is playing Nintendo Ma 64, Mario 64. How are you doing, my fellow kids? Uh, I'm fine. You know, you, you don't want, if you don't want to be called mom, then don't call us I kids. was quoting the meme. The what only meme. Let me explain. What okay, meme? so for some odd, no. The, 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 fucking whatever, I want to say his name is Christopher Walken, but it's not Christopher Walken. It's the dude on Disney that comes in with a skateboard. He's like, how you doing, your fellow kids? <laughs> that's, that's golden in a nutshell. And, and it's um, like, a, it's a very boomer associated meme. Like, old people trying to be hip. Oh my god! I, would, I, I somehow imagine of money. I somehow imagine Steve Buscemi doing that kind of shit because I saw a picture of him with a skateboard and he was wearing like similar outfits. Like, um... I think that's the one I'm referencing in the GIF. I know Wolfhead is in the call. Yep, hit me. No it's shit, boy. Go and don't antagonize your audience like that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm joking, dude. Do whatever you want. Who gives a shit? Oh, Somebody okay. sassy the night. No, okay. I will say this much earlier, Kitty. I've had some of the most rotten luck trying to collect some of the castle stars because some of the objectives are based off of um, mm -hmm. risking your life over some bottomless pits. God damn it. I, I thought you just had a bad day at work and you're taking it out on uh, this game. Because when you said I had the most horrible luck, I thought it was, um, I had a worst day at work and my life sucks right now. And I'm like, oh, you poor thing. You know, we, like, not gonna lie, we all get those feelings. Because in the moments that happens, it's like some of the most annoying shit happens. Um, I'm starting to understand more and more as to what Solar meant when he said, what kind of jobs we don't like? Uh, anything involving customer service. Oh, I do yeah, customer yeah, yeah. service for a, a living, and I mean, I, I it's hit or miss. It's really hit or miss. I mostly get old people hitting on me. Wait, and I what? Work at a yeah, so I work at a hardware store. I don't work with elderly people anymore, but yet the old men want to, like, take me for rides and shit and want, and, like, like, wow, you're really pretty. I'm like, thank you, sir. Here is your receipt. Have a great day. Take me for rides. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come home and help me fix my trailer. I'm like, I'm sorry, I gotta finish my shift. What are you doing after that? And I'm like, then I'm gonna That's go play video games. That's none of your fucking business. That's what the answer is. Golden is cringing right now. He's cringing out of his mind. Dude, well, that's usually just like... I. Go I do this kind of backhanded flirting with them, and then I end up making them sad. But they keep coming back because they need their supplies. It's kind of like cock blocking, but with less stress. Nice. <laughs> no, like the kind of customers I get are the ones who always want things their way or the highway. You know, those type of people. Oh, yeah. I know those cunt bags. Yeah, no, because it's like I've already shared a couple of my stories before with a few people. And like uh, Deaf Horse also works at a supermarket. And um, one of the examples is like he was uh, some customer was asking for a particular product that uh deaf would not be familiar with and he's not used to helping people with random exotic items and they're asking he was asking the person who did like because deaf didn't know he's like 
How do you not know what this item is? How long have you been working here? Uh, two years. How is it that you haven't been working for two years and not know what this item is? You didn't describe what it is, you asshole! There's like so <laughs> many different... We don't... We can't memorize every single thing throughout the store. You know? They just... Yeah, no, I get that. that. Yeah. You think that just because I work here that I'm aware of every single item in this giant behemoth of a store? Exactly. This is... One of my favorite stories. Because if I... you good, yeah. Because if you think that, then I don't think I'm the problem here. Yeah, that sounds like a you problem. Basically. My manager's dope, though. She's only like a couple years older than me, so she's like almost in. She's in her early thirties too, mm -hmm. and she, like when we like see a customer we don't like, I look at her and I'll, I look at my manager. I'm like, Heather, she's such a bitch, and she's like, I know, right? <laughs> Oh no, like, a couple of, um, cashiers oh I work with, God. a couple of cashiers I work with, they kind of have that sort of, uh, mentality. Like, mm -hmm. we don't, like, we say it after they, like, walk away and everything, and they're like, God, this person was unprofessional. It's like, yeah, he sounds stupider than he realizes. Because, like, um, the, ca the cashiers have to deal with, like, whatever attitude they have, and it's like, uh, to give an example, what- mm -hmm. One of the things I have to uh, ask them is, would you like your products in a bag? Which, you know, to in many cases, you know, people say either yes or no naturally. But some are like, uh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff here. It's like, well, some people, they just, they don't want them and they just want to carry just their own products out without any grocery bags. Some of them bring their own bags, which is one of the most annoying things that's like a thing. Because for a while now, they've, um, there was a whole like mandate where like yeah you have a right to bring your own uh bags but they had a like they they, they they charge you like 10 cents every bag and some people just don't want to do that so they bring their own bags so comparatively oh. when i have to get ready to bag things if they want just uh you know the bags regularly that's fine and everything because it's all there set and ready but when they bring their own bags you have to take them you have to unwad them while the products are coming forward and you're under a time constraint you have to move much faster okay. and it's even worse when they're being like no put it in this bag this bag and they're like wagging their finger while they're pointing it at something oh, wow. and it's so annoying it's like right here stupid right here stupid i hate that body language i hate that body gesture so yeah um, oh, that sucks. Yeah. Um, one of the worst customers I ever stumbled upon was... Well, there, there's two of them, actually. Um, I already told this story in a post-show at one point, but obviously I guess you didn't hear about it yet because it was a while ago. Oh, damn what it, I hit a brick. Okay. What post-show? So, uh, it was like a year ago. Anyway. Um, yeah, I I just like about almost a month ago got in back contact with you. <laughs> So I wouldn't have no contact. Anyway, um, there was a customer who always kept coming to me about customer service whenever I have to get ready to um, mm -hmm. be ready to get up. Come on. Like, I would always have to be ready to clock out. And as soon as I'm clocking out, this lady's asking for something. At one point, uh, like, an employee is asking me to help him out. I'm like, dude, I have to clock out. It's like, no, just help her. Um, she was asking me about a certain wine product, and I'm not somebody to look for that. There's a specialist for that. And as soon as I'm, like, midway answering, saying that I don't know that, but I'll find somebody. Of course you don't know. You always say you don't know. You don't know anything at a store, do you? Wow. Oh, fuck you too, bitch. Oh, what, what dip bags? Yeah. Um, another example was an old lady, and she was being kind of childish over what she wanted to get. Um, and, like... I was like, it wasn't like, I was just, I was in the middle of a couple of things and I'm trying to get things through. And, cause that's, that's what adds insult to injury of how annoyed I was getting with this shit. Damn it. Ugh. You missed it, Mario. Jesus Christ. And now I have to backtrack. <laughs> Do a yep. dive bomb. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll and then a dive bomb. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. so this lady is asking mm -hmm. for a certain product, and I'm like, I had to, like, ask a manager and everything. He's like, what is, is she's looking for this. Oh, great, I gotta wait until the block reappears. Um, and they, uh, they would say, like, it's not available right now until later today. So I go to let the uh, customer know about that, and she responds with, but I want it now! Like, oh my god, are you like, fucking kidding me? 
she me. literally, yeah, she literally said that oh in the exact god. same tone of Baruka from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I'm like, oh my god, dude, are you fucking serious? This literally, I just thought of the whole thing. You think that's whining? This is whining. I hate like, that. I hate that so much. This harness is too tight. That's all I think of. Oh, as funny how, as that episode how, is, though, it has such a, like, unintended, destructive message. How dare you run ads on your stream, Golden? Think you're some kind of big shot? No, I'm playing. <laughs> oh, no, I like, uh, hilariously ab enough about that is that, yeah, I would make, um... Oh, okay, so you won't do that. <sighs> But you'll do it when I'm at a perfect level of when I need to. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> yeah, in case it wasn't obvious, the wing cap is garbage. It's not the cape one where you have much more control. Mm. The cape one is from Super Mario World, right? Yes. Okay. And that was discontinued because, oh my god, it's so overpowering. It's overpowering if you know how to control it correctly. Okay, fuck this bonus stage. This was complete ass garbage anyway. I, I saw you slide off the cloud like an yes. egg off a nail. Anyways, um, I remember at one point because like, uh, what was the review? Uh, Sparkle 7. And like yeah. both Sparkle 7 and uh, Brother of Social, they took me a long time to make. Especially when it comes to making cutscenes, they take forever for me. I'm not used to working on them all the time, but I uh, worked on it. Got it done. I was really happy with the final result and everything. Um, I got a comment once on Sparkle 7. And he was complaining that I was making self-promotional ads for like between the ad breaks. Mm -hmm. And then he said, I give you a 2 out of 10 for editing. It's like, yeah, screw the fact that I was working on a bunch of L like cutscenes and shit and making a story, you know? Something that took me literally years. Yeah, you're just going to give it a 2 because we. You're making self-promotion. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to grow my fucking channel, you asshole. Wait, this was a comment in the comment section? On Sparkle 7, yeah. Cause I'm What's like, Sparkle 7? I'm sorry. Sparkle 7 it's was the season... It was the season 9 episode. It was the... Oh, okay, that's probably why. Because I dropped out at season 5. Because I was like, I got life to live. I can't just keep watching Pony. I can't Even though be a I, brony. I'm not saying I can't like be involved in MLP, but I'm just saying that like I just got like all right, I'm I'm just gonna, I I just it was getting like too much, and I was like I got stuff to do, so I just stopped. Me and my husband we just stopped, but we did watch the final episode. It was really weird mm. for us. It was very like surreal. Like oh, it's actually over. Everything must come to an end at some point. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah, like, I know, but it was Damn just it. like, it's actually over. At least they ended on a better uh, note than, you know, most, like, finale episodes of character arcs. Cause, I um, still like... What? Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm just saying, I still like G1. I don't care what anybody says. It's one of my favorites. Did you grow up watching a lot of G1? Yeah, I, I was born in 91, so I grew up with a lot of the older shit. So, I, I'm more familiarized with it. The only things I, I saw with... Oh, go ahead. I was born in 91 as well, and uh, I, I wasn't aware of MLP until recently. Until relatively recently, anyway. I mean... I'm old. <laughs> join the club. I know. I just hit 31. But anyway, no, anything involving G1, I watched uh, Rescue at Midnight Castle was decent. The pacing was all over the place. Um, that that was an, that's a classic. How dare you? Oh, <laughs> you you, you like, Giddy, you're gonna hate me if like because at some point I would have to review their '86 Pony movie. Hated it so that, fucking that was, bad. No, that was just weird. That was just weird. Uh, it was a weird. weird movie. No, like the thing it that... was, uh, you had a fucking ship that looked like giant tits floating across some purple cum. How worse can you get? Um, what? How what worse can you get? <laughs> uh huh. A spoiled fucking child for a main protagonist. Lickety split. I she hated her. I hated spoiled. her. She wasn't spoiled. She was like 
egocentric. I need to be the center of attention because I need to be the center. Look, she was a, a, a starving actress. She wanted to be the center of attention. That's literally her a MO, okay? So she <laughs> decides to run away when people call because her out. Because when you're young and you're not getting paid attention, you think running away is the best answer. Yeah, and guess what? She undeservingly got rewarded that rainbow power. She didn't do jack shit. Listen, yeah, I, I was about to ask you. I was about to ask you. Is that the character that made you mad in the hotel room, and everybody was like, "Dude, yes." I was so pissed. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck? She didn't do jack shit. She was whining all the fucking time." It. Th I threw my voice <laughs> out. I was mad. Yeah, I heard. Listen, you could wear you could be a part of the recital and wear leg warmers and dance, okay? You could have a flash dance. <laughs> Every, okay, everybody else who was performing was doing very like everything was well choreographed until she stepped in and ruined everything. And yeah, she got rightfully called out. Her on outfit it. was amazing. I don't care what anybody says. I loved her rainbow like flash dance. That doesn't dance. excuse her to interfere. She's just a baby. Like, come on. Look, so look, is look, every look, look. So is everybody else <laughs> in that movie. They were all children, and they were ten times more mature than she was. Yeah, what's her excuse, Kitty? You think just because you're a child that you could be immature and be a? Oh, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. I think she, her, her Harry and Mo was that she wasn't like the center of attention, so that's why she ran away. I mean, it looks like it from, like, when you watch it. There's also those weird, like... There were, there were so many different kinds of weird creatures floating around. Some of them are deciding, no, I don't want to help you. Okay, I'll help you. Danny DeVito's well, in that movie. He's the trash. Well, I'm gonna need you to stop side-fucking that, um, that carpet. Uh, easier said than done. The controls are garbage. God damn it! Case <laughs> in point! <laughs> well... You just died. I have a good day. <laughs> Every time I look up, Golden is on the edge of the carpet, just and his body is like, do I want to be on the carpet or do I want to be off the carpet? Like, he just like, wants to relive his speed racer dream, like where everybody like goes for the cliff. I... Oh, so he's trying to he's pretending to be speed racer on the carpet. Is like deja vu. Have you been to space before? Hi, yes. you're on the street. He just starts drifting. Yes. Like Tokyo Drift. Speaking of yeah, um, speaking of uh, initial D music, so you remember the song uh, "Run It" in the '90s, and that got memed so hard. Yeah. The opening a... melody. I don't know if Kitty would agree with me because she's also familiar with the other song I'm about to compare to. It sounds so close, like the melody that goes like. It sounds like the mid riff of a uh, smooth criminal on Ritalin. When yeah, it, yeah, it is. When you it goes all, "Baby, down. are you okay?" And you speed it up, baby. Are you okay, baby? Are you okay? Because I was probably sampled. It was. It was probably sampled um, from that. A lot of sampling. I'm not saying it, it hasn't been around uh, before that, but I, I think that sampling really got popular in the '90s. But I wouldn't be shocked if it was back even further. You know, they said that the ad, the live action adaptation of Speed Racer wasn't bad. We should watch that. I love it. Oh my god, I have that movie on DVD. I have that movie on DVD. I have it. It's at my mom's house, and I have to still retrieve half of my Astro Boy collection. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn you way low. <laughs> she she got she got so. Excited. I am not on my computer. I am on my tablet. Oh cut. no! Don't you dare! Don't oh, you... yes, I will. Not I you. Not you. He was the... a G1 pony. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm talking about the emulator. It's frozen. Oh, oh no. Oh, I thought you were like, no, don't no. you dare. Me. No, dude, I've been drawn as a G1 pony a few times already. No, what I will... You know what? I'm not going to finish that sentence. No, say it. I want to know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Banana Man, what was he going to say? I don't know. Am I like a golden mind reader right now? Yes, you you go you yeah you you pull like those uh, cheesy uh, late night uh, psychic commercials from like the late nineties and eighties. Okay, let me let me peer into Golden's brain and read his subconscious. Uh, I got I gotta go through a couple of things. Uh, uh, his anger, uh, his love for Keyframe. Oh, there it is. It's a big old sign that tells me to go fuck myself. Well, I guess I'll just get out of here then. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm 
Yeah. No, tell me what you're gonna say, please. Please. I don't know. Ask him. I'm asking him, please. Please what? Why you gotta? <laughs> please tell me what you were gonna say. He probably forgot. Ugh, I had an itch on my eye. No, what were we talking about? See, I told you you forgot. Damn it. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you were gonna draw me as a G1 pony. Yeah, I already drew uh, my husband as one because I was bored and I was like, I wonder how it'll work, and it actually didn't turn out too bad. Yeah, like I, I yeah, like I said before, I was drawn as a G1 pony a few times. In fact, I, I remember there was once a thumbnail where me, Bliss, and a few others were drawn as G1 style. And we were all getting prepared for uh, to discuss the, the My Little Pony movie at the BronyCon. Um, there was a panel. It was a group of analysts, and we were talking about the movie. And I was like, that was one of the worst movies i ever seen. It, it but I remember that there was, there were like, there was a bow on the tail. There was a bow on the back of the head. It's like, oh, that's cute. Like, the I don't know if that's... Very big. I wish they brought the bows back. That, that would have made it cuter. Okay, Thank you, you. want to be like this? Fine. And we all know that Golden is in the bows. He has a he has a he has a he has an affinity for bows. Dude, I dude there's already like a collection of different outfits my character was in. Do they all involve bows? One of them. No, two no, of them. Okay. okay, all right. Uh, okay, so one of them is a made outfit with a bow that's on the back side or the mm -hmm. the saddle side. I would say. Okay. Uh, Just say the bow is on his ass. Stop being a, stop being a weirdo. Bro. It's not on his ass. It was on his back. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um. And the other of which is when. What the hell? What? I just got disconnected from Discord. How am I still hearing you guys? I have no you idea. You are. You are fine. Like you didn't that was disconnect weird. from our end. The magic yeah. of of of. G1. That's how you're still <laughs> Anyway. 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 For the fifth yeah. time. Uh, the other outfit is when my character is in a nurse outfit. And the bows are on the, like, they're, they're on his shoes. Oh, uh, little bow shoes. Uh, yeah, they're like bow, bow ballet flats or something like that. Or they're bow slippers. There's a, there's a name for them. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't know what it is that's so cute about those style of shoes. I just, I loved them when I was a kid. Well, they're very cute. They're very classic. A lot of people have them. So, I wouldn't be shocked if you like them or not. <laughs> Wolfhead attempts to probe Golden Subconscious. I mean, it's not like I just said it. I openly admitted on uh, Twitter at one point. That I had like a pair of my own. That I just walk okay. around the apartment. Oh, look at you! Styling in fucking ballet flats. He's he, he he has the swag. He has the drip. He has he has the ballet <laughs> drip. Can't ballet you hear the golden has the ballet drip. Hashtag golden has drip. Hashtag golden has drip. Hashtag make that trendy on Twitter. Amen. Amen. Make it trend. Hashtag prayer hands, hashtag six god, hashtag golden's ballet flat. Hashtag he has the drip, he has the swag. We cannot Maybe forget he's... that he has the drip. Uh, yeah, hashtag. he has the ultimate drippy drips. What does that even okay, mean? Don't... Why do we... <laughs> don't... I have the drips? Like, yeah, am I dripping drip, something? Dude. You got the no. style. You got the style. Yeah, okay. it's a slang term for uh, style. Like, you, you, you're hip. You you have like your clothes are on fire. Oh. Yeah. Am I dripping something, this man? Yes. Oh, speaking of style, um, there was a recent picture. I don't know if you've seen it yet, Kitty. Uh, Dusk drew a picture of my character wearing what looks like um, like a red dress. It's supposed to be like Phoenix based. Oh, let, let, oh, I think I saw it. Was it the one where you were um? It looks like you're going to, like, a ball or the Grand Galloping Gala or whatever it is called. Something like that. <clears throat> I think I saw it, yes. Yeah, uh, and there's Ryza next to him. Is that the tiny white one? Yes. Yeah, uh, that's okay. one of my patrons. Yes, I've, seen I've seen that uh, character and I've seen that uh, outfit. It's very cute and I like it. Mm-hmm. 